All right, welcome back, everyone. We are diving into something really interesting today. Yeah. We've got this uh, document written in Hindi, mm. and it claims to lay out the secrets to, well, creating wealth. Interesting. If you're, you know, the average Indian. Okay. And the crazy part is, it's not about, like, the usual things. What do you mean? Like, hard work, connections, even education, really. Huh. So what is it about? It all comes down to something they call specific knowledge. Specific knowledge. I like that. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, catchy term, That's right? Hopefully grabs your attention. So this document tells the story of Kishan Bulgaria. Okay. He was this um, middle-class kid from Assam. Hmm. And honestly, he did what a lot of us probably wanted to do back then. Oh, yeah. What's that? Just imagine the pressure to, like, ace those JEE exams. Oh, I can only imagine. But Kishan, he just had this huge passion for computers. Makes and sense. he basically said forget the traditional path and just dove into coding wow <laughs> yeah you know teaching himself everything through youtube really just youtube yep started developing apps you know hit a few bumps in the road yeah that's how it goes but ultimately he created this app called texts texts interesting what did it do well it wasn't like revolutionary or anything well, it basically combined messages from all these different social media platforms okay so all in one place exactly really simple but it just worked you know yeah i can see the appeal and get this the app caught the attention of someone pretty big oh. matt mullenwag the founder of wordpress no way yep he saw something in texts and acquired it for how much hold on to your hats 50 million dollars you're kidding. Nope. That's about 416 crore rupees. That's uh, a lot of rupees. Yeah, to say the least. Yeah. But it makes you think, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Matt Mullenweg, he's got resources, connections. Yeah, he could have easily built something like that himself. Exactly. But he didn't. He recognized Kishan had something special, irreplaceable. Hmm. I wonder what it was about Kishan's knowledge that made it so valuable. Right. It wasn't just coding. It was this deep understanding of, like user behavior yeah well, his ability to you know find that one problem everyone was facing yeah and then just design the perfect solution exactly that's the kind of knowledge that makes you stand out makes you indispensable it's like that saying knowledge is power but it's more like specific knowledge is real power uh-huh yeah exactly and this document that's its whole point interesting it argues that the key to wealth creation lies in developing this kind of unique expertise. They call it specific knowledge. Right. But, you know, we have this school dropout making millions. Yeah. How does this apply to the rest of us? Well, think of it like building a toolbox, right? Okay. You're constantly adding skills, experiences, all that. Makes sense. And the more specialized your tools are, the more valuable you become. Because you can solve those unique problems. Exactly. And people are willing to pay for that. So it's not just knowing a lot about everything. It's about finding your niche. Right. Becoming an expert in something specific. It reminds me of Steve Jobs, actually. Oh, yeah. How so? Even after he got kicked out of Apple, the company struggled. Yeah, I remember that. They had all these resources, brilliant minds, but something was missing. What was it? His vision, his understanding of design, user experience, all that. It's like they needed that specific knowledge to truly succeed. Exactly. Jobs' story is the perfect example of how valuable specific knowledge can be. It's not just information. It's the insight to use it effectively. And when Jobs came back, Apple just skyrocketed, proving companies will pay a premium for that expertise. Absolutely. It's like yeah. that, that knowledge makes you invaluable. You know, now that you mention it, yeah. we've been talking about Steve Jobs, but what about someone closer to home? Oh, I like where this is going. Let's talk about Dr. Devi Shetty. Okay, yeah, he's incredible. He saw this problem. Heart surgery in India was, like, crazy expensive. Yeah, out of reach for so many people. But his expertise in cardiac surgery combined with his innovative approach. It allowed him to create Noriana Health. And they provide affordable, high-quality care to millions. It's amazing what he accomplished. His specific knowledge didn't just lead to success. It made a real impact. It's really inspiring, you know? This whole concept of specific knowledge is just fascinating to me. Yeah, I agree. It's not just about money. It's about finding that sweet spot. Where your passion meets expertise and solves a real problem. Yeah. And you know what? That problem doesn't have to be global. Oh, right. There are tons of opportunities in India, even locally, to use your skills and make a difference. And create wealth in the process. It's pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. It's really something, seeing how people use their skills like that, you know?
it really shows that making money, it's not just about yourself. Right. It can like actually do good if you're focused on real problems. Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be healthcare or tech either. Oh yeah, for sure. Remember that where is my train app? Yeah. Seems simple, but it fixes a huge issue for a ton of people in India. It's true. Trains are a lifeline here. Exactly. Those developers, they saw the problem and used their skills. To create a solution people actually pay for. It's like that, uh, what's that saying? Find a need and fill it. Yeah. But here it's more like, find the need, learn what you need to fill it, then build a business around it. Uh -huh, that's a good one. And it doesn't have to be some big company either. Right. Not at all. Think about Sachin and Binny Bansal with Flipkart. Oh, yeah. Good example. They saw Amazon working in the U.S. and thought, why not India? Right. They adapted it for our market. They didn't have, like, formal training in e-commerce or anything. But they were willing to learn. Exactly. Took the basic idea and made it work for Indian consumers. That's a key point. Specific knowledge isn't always about inventing something totally new. Hmm. That's interesting. You can take an existing idea and use it in a new way or improve it for a specific market. So it's not just about the next big thing. It's about knowing how to use what's already there. To create value in a specific situation, exactly. Okay, so we've talked about Kashan, Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you got to drop out of school to succeed? Not necessarily, no. What about people who, like, got their degrees, worked regular jobs? Specific knowledge still matters, big time. Even if you didn't go the unconventional route. A degree is a foundation but it's what you build on top of it that counts. Hmm. Okay. Think about it. Tons of successful entrepreneurs come from places like IIT and IIM. Yeah, they're known for that. They took that education and used it to solve problems, build businesses. So it's not degree or our business, it's using your education as a starting point. Exactly, then finding those specialized skills that fit your passions. It makes a lot of sense when you put it that way. And this brings up something people might be wondering. What's that? With all this talk about wealth, can you really get rich ethically? Yeah, that's a good question, especially these days. You hear about all these scams and stuff. It's important to remember. What's that? Ethical wealth creation, it's not just possible. It's essential. Mm -hmm. This framework we're talking about, it's about creating value, yeah. helping people. Right, not just taking shortcuts. Think of Zomato connecting people with food or where is my train making travel easier. They're successful because they solve real problems. Their wealth comes from that. Exactly. And another important thing to remember. Yeah. Wealth creation, it's not a zero-sum game. You mean one person winning doesn't mean someone else loses? Exactly. Yeah. Often, it actually creates opportunities for others. Hmm. Like a ripple effect. Yeah. Think about smartphones, Apple, and Samsung competing. Yeah. They're always trying to one-up each other. It pushes innovation, better products, lower prices for everyone. And all the jobs created around those companies, app developers, accessories, everything. It's a whole ecosystem built around it. So competition, when it's about creating value, can be a good thing. For everyone involved, absolutely. Right. Now let's talk about the two ways to create wealth. Okay, I'm intrigued. The first one, earning small amounts from a lot of people. I see, so like Zomato, right? Yeah, or Toyota selling cars, even your local street food vendor. Small profit on each thing, but huge volume. Adds up to big revenue over time. Yeah, it's wild how that works, you know? Those small margins adding up. It's about reaching the masses, right? Exactly, but what about that second way you mentioned? Uh, the second equation, this one's about getting larger sums. Okay. But from fewer people, a more uh, exclusive group. I'm listening. This is how those luxury brands operate. Like Ferrari with their supercars, those fancy watch companies. Oh, right. Patek Philippe, all those. Exactly. Even like those uh, custom tailors making one-of-a-kind suits. So instead of thousands of cheap cars, it's a few hundred really expensive ones. Different approach, same principle. Solving a problem, fulfilling a desire, something people are willing to pay a lot for. And this is where specific knowledge really shines. Makes sense. You got to stand out somehow. Whether it's samosas or supercars, it's that expertise that sets you apart. It's like even in a crowded market, people pay more for the best, right? The best doctor, lawyer, architect, whoever, because they trust that specific knowledge. They know it'll get them results, even if it costs more upfront. It's about building a reputation. Becoming the go-to person in your field. So it's not just knowing stuff, it's mastering it, building your brand around it. And that's how you build real, lasting wealth. Okay, so before we finish up, yeah. this document we talked about, it promised us some uh, 
GIFs, right. Oh, that's right. Free poster, summarizing the key points, access to the script, and more. All through the author's Discord, Telegram, and WhatsApp. We'll put those links in the show notes for everyone. Definitely a great way to learn more and connect with others. All right, so remember, this is just the start of our wealth creation journey. There's a lot more to explore. Next time, we'll dive into generating funds, the concept of leverage. Ooh, leverage is powerful stuff. It is, and we'll talk about identifying those bottlenecks that slow you down. You gotta break through those to really accelerate. Absolutely, and we'll even discuss creating your own luck. That sounds interesting. It is. Being in the right place at the right time, prepared for opportunities. It's like making luck work for you. Exactly. So stay tuned, everyone. There's more to come. We're just getting started. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, all that good stuff. And share your thoughts on social media. Let's keep the conversation going. Most importantly, think about what we've discussed, these principles of specific knowledge. What skills do you have? What problems are you passionate about? Those answers, that might just be your key to, well, unexpected riches. Go out there, explore, experiment, create. We believe in you. We'll see you all next time. Take care.